After five years only No uploads It was time to go home Hey everyone, it's Everything Ape here, and in today's video, I am going to be comparing Windows 10, the latest developer preview, Windows 10 build uh, 21390, I think, to the latest version of Ubuntu, Ubuntu 21.04. I'm going to see what are some major differences, I guess, in the operating systems. So let's just power them on quickly, and uh, so you can see this is kind of an uh, uneven speed test between the two to see which one boots faster although you know I don't know who, which one will this one's already hogging up all my desktop space for some reason my mouse pads my mouse is being funky okay oh it's lagging because ah I see why now one eternity later well keep in mind that Ubuntu is booting off the HDD so it's not an even boot test to begin with if Ubuntu was booting off the SSD, it'd probably boot faster. Plus, they're both fighting for resources. Let's just compare what they look like, because this is the latest build of Windows 10, this is the build of Ubuntu. So the first thing you'll probably note here is the layout of the operating system, I could say. Uh, Windows 10 has everything centered towards the bottom, while Ubuntu spreads it around the screen. So you can see we have a bar here with activities the calendar and all the functions and on the left we have all of our um, all of our stuff all, all of our programs and over here we have oh, sorry about the loud noise outside by the way <laughs> but on Windows 10 we have everything centered more to the bottom of the screen and uh, yeah that's a pretty big difference between the two operating systems so both of them have app launchers Windows 10 has the start menu of course and Windows, I mean Ubuntu has this menu thing with just applications. I like the simplicity of just having applications here instead of having tiles, but I, I, I would like the tiles, except the thing is, is that they're just making the, I mean the tiles are kind of useless now since they're not live tiles, so yeah, that's just kind of my opinion on it. I'm interested to find out what's yours over here on the Windows 10 side, even with 21 even with uh, the new Sun Valley update, we are running uh, 21390 over here. We still have a lot of built-in programs, as you can see, and stuff we don't even need either, like Microsoft Solitaire Collection and pretty much everything around here. You can actually see here, there's actually, um, there's Roblox. I don't even play Roblox. G5, what the? Oh, Hidden City. And Pinterest. I didn't even know Pinterest was a thing on Windows 10. And then Photoshop, Express, and Adobe Access, and Solitaire, of course. There's also Spotify, so Apple Music users are going to get really mad at that. And yeah, it's just a mess on the Windows 10 side. They also have the, uh, the Office Suite, but clicking on this just brings you to the browser, which just brings you to sign into your account. So on the Ubuntu side, it's a lot more technical, sir. We do have games, but they're less... Uh, intrusive and we have more useful utilities rather than uh, advertisements for anything we have a, of course a couple of games right but other than that not really much difference in that you can see for desktop icons we have the recycling bin over here and we have this one it's called a trash on Windows 10 and then there's a home folder on Ubuntu and then there's mm, just the shortcut to Microsoft Edge speaking of which let's compare the built-in browsers to each other so here's microsoft edge on windows 10 this is the built-in browser to windows 10 and over here we have uh firefox web browser as the default browser on ubuntu though you can change it to chromium if you would like so uh, it takes considerably longer to open firefox here but that's because it's running on the hdd so uh and you can see here that the browsers do look pretty different, the built-in browsers from each other. This is what most users are going to use unless they decide to change their built-in browsers to something else. So uh, you can see on uh, Microsoft Edge there's a lot more content uh, built in, like it's more personalized. So for example, it says some Canadian news and over here there's of course stuff by recommended by Pocket on Ubuntu, right? So uh, and over here they have you know stock shortcuts the stock shortcuts here are a bit different 
but uh, over here they're kind of more generalized to what people like. For example, here you can notice that they put YouTube and Reddit here, but here you can notice that they put Disney Plus and uh, thing and Microsoft News for entertainment. So uh, yeah, pretty fun. Uh, okay, so let's try. It. So you can see we can just go to Google both here. These are the latest version of each respect brow each respective browsers, by the way. So these are built-in browsers. You can see the the Firefox on uh, Ubuntu looks a bit more different than the Firefox on Windows. So you can get Firefox on Windows, but you can't get Microsoft Edge on Ubuntu, which is kind of disappointing. I don't lie. So there's no about Microsoft. Actually, no, there is. Shoot. So you can see these are, I guess, the latest browsers. There's uh, 91. This is Microsoft Edge version 91, which is based off Chromium 91. And there's Firefox version 89. And it still says Mozilla Firefox Ubuntu Canonical 1.0. I don't know why they stay say, say that. So let's close out of the browsers for a second. And let's focus on the built-in mail clients. So uh, Windows 10 uses something called Mail. Uh, which is a UWP application designed by Microsoft for mail. While um, Ubuntu uses a Thunderbird mail, I'm not actually going to sign into any emails here because I don't want to um, I don't want to disclose any of my emails. But basically, the e interface on Microsoft's mail app is a lot different than the uh, than the mail app on Thunderbird, which is made by Mozilla, of course. So. Uh, it, it needs me to set up, but I can't set it up. So unfortunately, we can't compare these right now So sad. Okay, so moving on. Let's compare file explorers So this is Windows 10's file explorer on the latest developer build and you can see here that they've changed a lot of icons This is the one on Ubuntu. So let's just wait for Ubuntu to load There we go uh, And you can see here is that um, both I all icons kind of look modernish, but Ubuntu has a higher level of consistency than Windows 10 does. I mean, if you go like if you take a look at these app, these icons, right? These icons don't look they have, like they have changed much at all. Like you can still see the properties icon is still kind of the same. Uh, you know, it's kind of it's all, it's all inconsistencies like that are here. Although Windows 10 is doing a lot better job of managing those inconsistencies now, and but basically, uh, Ubuntu has a lot more simplistic applications, like you can see here. This is just a CD, while well, this shows the entire drive. And uh, yeah, so those are basically the file explorers. If you want to browse something, you can go over here. And there's also search buttons on both of them, but Ubuntu's is more concealed, uh, while Windows 10 is more open. And you, of course, you can search for things and thing and you can also view in list view which you can also do with the view function in windows 10 you can see see things for their details oh what the heck oops <laughs> so um yeah you can you have more customization for how you want to view in windows 10 but um yeah so uh, and that's ba basically it so files is its own application so of course you can it says files but I uh, don't see an about section here even if we it just says about windows which just shows uh, the windows 10 beta build thing okay so now let's talk about the stores because both operating systems have their own stores built in uh, Ubuntu has one called Ubuntu software and Microsoft has one called the Microsoft store so here are both stores opened well this store is still loading unfortunately <laughs> This is what happens when you try to run two VMs at once. And, oh, okay, there we go. So it says firmware update metadata. Oh, God. Okay. So it's first time set up, you know, it, it takes a lot longer. Here's, okay, here's one inconsistency I noted that the icons here haven't changed. They're supposed to be a lot more flat. But, you know, that's just one inconsistency. Most of the operating system is pretty consistent. Like, if I open the the menu here there's not much that looks out of place of course there's thunderbird has a kind of 3d-ish logo but that's because that's thunderbird that that's thunderbird not uh things half the icons are missing i don't know why 
Okay, so let's just wait for this to load. Two thousand years later. Oh, and ta-da! It actually loaded. Wow. Okay, so let's just take a look at the stores here. So it's called Microsoft Store on Microsoft. It used to be called the Windows Store, but they renamed it a few years ago. And over here, it's called Ubuntu Software. Open Windows. That's great. So you can see that they have editors picked first of all, and you can see that this is more designed for touch rather than, of course, there are some bigger elements here, but that's for emphasis. But on the Microsoft Store, it's a lot more, the elements are a lot bigger. You can actually see here is that elements are a lot more touch based, based like for touching actually with your fingers instead of, um, instead of just, you know, like, uh, clicking on it like it is on Ubuntu. So, of course, there's categories on thing, uh, on, there's no categories on this store, I'm pretty sure. Um, and so let's just take a look at some of the apps they have. Okay, so it seems like our store is refusing to work. So we'll just try to move on with what we already have. So we have an audio tagger here. So let's see what's see. Let's see. Let's, let's just take a look at um, what an actual download screen looks like. You can see the loading animation has changed. It's the one from Windows 10X, which is pretty cool. And it's kind of glitching out here because it doesn't expect this aspect ratio. But uh, basically, what you can see is that um, it has, of course, you scroll down, it has some pictures. Uh, where it's available on so it tells you if it's available on mobile PC HoloLens Xbox etc etc and of course they have screenshots and then of course it has some additional information here uh, but then on this it's more uh, streamlined and it also shows it also prominently thrusts reviews more rather than you have to clicking a separate button into uh, viewing reviews which by the way this has some really low reviews I don't know why it's fine and uh, and you can see here is that it's more upfront about reviews and less details. So that's pretty cool. Uh, this still isn't loading, so I guess we'll move on from the stores. So there's, of course, the music player, which uh, let's just compare those quickly because, you know, why not? Ah, there we go. Okay, so you can see we've got Groove Music here, but on the first on open on both machines, this one has to play through this animation while this one can go instantly. And you can see here is that if we expand it a bit, you can see here that this is more uh, desktop based, while this is more like large elements, actually large elements. These are some huge elements. And of course there's Sign In, I don't know why and you know you can see your songs your artists your albums but it's basically very touch oriented while here it's very uh streamlined less touch oriented you can see so this is a pretty big difference like on ubuntu it's more based for touch user i mean for laptop laptop or computer users to click on while on uh, windows 10 it's more based on a hybrid formula where it kind of is uh, big in some elements, small in others, and yeah, so basically that's kind of the difference between uh, Windows 10 and um, Ubuntu. So there's also a lot of similar built-in applications like Cheese, there's Calendar built-in, and uh, there's also, there's also uh, it also keeps utilities in a different folder, which is pretty cool, as it keeps the start menu less cluttered. So let's compare the help applications. Let's just say you want some help. Uh, so on Windows 10, it's called Get Help. It's right next to the Groove Music application, obviously, because uh, it's listed in chronological order. And you can see that this, so it says Getting Started with GNOME, which is the virtual environment uh, Ubuntu is based off of, and Visual uh, Log Off, Start Applications, you know, stuff like that. Well, on Windows 10, it just shows uh, more common solutions, and then, um, and, and it's more personalized to what you need. So, for example, you can search what you need here, uh, straight off from the app. So, if I want to search for setting 
up a printer. You can see it starts searching here and yeah you can just click on your topic and let's just search up setting up a printer here too. So, in terms of help applications, Ubuntu definitely doesn't have that great of a help application, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, other than that, there's also the activities thing, which shows your desktops, your pre-existing desktops, if you want to create one, which I don't know how to. Well, on Windows 10, it's called Timeline, and the timeline is kind of junky, you can see. Uh, it's not exactly that great. It's also bugged out because I'm running it on a virtual machine, so everything's buggy. Um, but yeah, other than that, so that's basically the difference between Ubuntu 21.04 and Windows 10. Though even the latest build is still very, very touch-oriented. And it's not just because I have 120% scaling on, 125%. It's just because it has some very, very touch-like elements that don't really make sense in a desktop operating system like uh, this. One last thing before we go, let's compare idle uh, idle task usage. Over here it's using about a gig of RAM out of 1.5 to uh, just idling, just not doing anything, so this is, well, funny. Uh, oh wait a minute, it's right over there. System monitor. Okay, so you can see that it's using a lot more memory on Ubuntu, which is probably why they recommend at least 4 gigs. See, um, Ubuntu is a lot more upfront about its requirements, while Windows 10 is kind of like, eh, well, you can still run it, so that's the point. So you can see that, um, you can see that Ubuntu, it's using a lot less CPU here because I only have two cores on Windows 10. It's kind of unequal on these, so yeah i forgot to change that but you can see that i mean it would be about the same if we were and there's also the fact that i was i'm using an ssd here i mean i'm using my ssd here while on this one i'm not but uh so yeah ubuntu is not a light operating system but it's certainly lighter than windows 10 is i mean windows 10 is a lot slower and a lot more jittery like if you notice if we open a window here uh quickly so moving it around on uh, Ubuntu is a lot more smooth while moving on Windows 10 is kind of like eh. And this is running on my graphics card by the way so yeah it's kind of less smooth to run things on Windows 10 It's and it's also basically the conclusion I guess I'm trying to come to is that Windows 10 is more uh, touch based than Ubuntu is. Ubuntu is a lot more uh, desktop user based and you can definitely see from the amount of elements in the operating system that show that uh, that show the difference. So, yeah, I hope you guys liked it. And if you did, please uh, don't comment, don't like, and don't subscribe if you didn't. So, but if you did, of course, do all the set that I said above. All right, I'll see you all next time. Bye.